Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afrozian. Today we're reading for the earth signs, which consists of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep track as to when I'm making more videos. If you'd like to book a private reading with me or shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. What's going on with the earth signs? I'm her pull letters today. A. What's going on with the earth sign with the letter A? All right, I'm here in asinine. Let's see. Asinine. Obstinate, stupid, offensive, offensively silly. Stupid. Somebody's making an ass off themselves. This is asinine. Somebody's making an ass off themselves. <laughs> okay, why are they making an ass off themselves? <laughs> They're stuck. It could be stuck in your energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Gemini is in reverse, though, so it could be a lower vibrational Gemini that you're dealing with. But somebody's in a stuck energy, and it's just very fucking asinine. Like, why are you doing this? You're you're an ass. Adult, a blockhead, <laughs> like an ass. Yeah, somebody's somebody's acting real asinine. Why they're stuck? Why are they stuck? Why do they feel stuck? Why do they feel stuck? Wow, okay. Because of a relationship or a negative relationship or a low vibrational relationship, they don't have empathy towards this relationship, but they're stuck within this relationship. They don't want to see this relationship fail as well too, but it's coming to an end. It's going to end, whether you like her or not. This is just something that the universe is pushing out. It is going to end, okay? Um... So you need to find the courage to move forward with the freedom card or release this stuck energy that you're placing yourself in. Someone may be um, not in the best shape when it comes to health, okay? What's going on with their health? What's going on with their health? Mm, somebody was stabbed in the back. Is that physical? Somebody was stabbed in the back physically? Up here, like right around here? Why, why did that happen? Why did they do that? Somebody was trying to get you out of here. We just going to keep it up. up. Somebody was trying to get you out of here, out of here. Yeah. But that's not your fate. <laughs> so you need to definitely heal. It feels like you want to move forward, but you can't move forward because you feel real stuck. Like you're trying to heal or you're wanting to heal, but you just can't because you're in this stuck energy. And this person's just manipulating you, doing all types of wickedness and crazy shit to you. And they may come off as asinine. You may come off as asinine to this person or they may come off asinine to you. Somebody feels very stupid or they may call you stupid or they may say that you're asinine, okay? But there's definitely a lot of uh, negative, lower vibrational energy that's going on, a lot of bickering and fighting. Yeah, somebody is stuck. They cannot transform. It's like, why can I not get out of this? Like, I want to leave, but I can't leave, okay? Some things are going to come up in the, in the light. So things are going to be revealed to you as to why you cannot move in a way that you want to move why they can't move why they can't move in the way they want to move all right we have somebody that is unloyal here
So they're not moving because they're unloyal? No, they're, they can't move. So we have eviction, we have unloyal, and then we have abortion, okay? And then we also have divorce as well. So it may seem like somebody doesn't want to leave this, don't want to leave this connection or marriage. They don't want to get divorced. Um, abortion in this instance is more so they don't want this to end. Okay, with the eviction and un unloyal here. It's like somebody got wind that this person could be unloyal and maybe they're kicking them out the house. And in revenge, this person did something to tamper with your health. Okay, it could be your mental health, could be your spiritual health, your physical health. Um, and I feel like they could have stabbed you in the back. Right here, I keep hearing Latissimus Dorsey. Right here, your shoulder, shoulder blade. I'm smelling fried chicken for some reason. You have to establish boundaries with this person. All right, this person may go to a psychic. Yeah, karmic. So they're definitely doing some kind of... Um, some kind of candle work or to you to keep you in the stuck energy. Could be a friend, a sneaky friend, somebody that you may consider a friend, but they're not really your friend. Maybe you have a confidant that you may trust. Um, you feel very burnt out. Right? Feel very burnt out by this person like you may be telling your business to somebody and then in return that person that you're telling your business to they won't make them tell the person that you are talking about okay so there's no alliance here there's no alliance here at all this karma keeps coming out what's behind that liar so they're karmic and they definitely lie so yeah you have a friend that you thought was a friend that's a sneaky ass friend you have to establish boundaries right somebody paid to go to a psychic or a medium to see what information that they can receive. You may work, you may have received some information. You may have confronted this person with this information. This is where this knife is coming in. Maybe they try to wield it at you. Because I literally see it like this. Literally, I see it like that. Okay? Maybe they're trying to hunch at you or something. But I literally see them like hur like hur hurling in that way, in that manner. Yeah, this person does not have your best interest at heart. Definitely dealing with a fake empress. So there's some low, lower vibrational energies that we're dealing with here. I'm so tired of reading about this shit. I really am. I ain't going to hold you. I'm tired of reading about this shit. This is day in and day out. But anyways, you got a fake empress here. Um, Somebody that's a liar could, be, could, could have lied on you. All right. They could be the reason why you're getting evicted too. Somebody does not want to get divorced. Somebody's in stuck energy. Yeah, because somebody is doing candle work. They're trying to bound your mind. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to have financial success. They want you fucking broke. And look, candle magic. So they doing, they doing work on your money, on your finances. This person is a habitual cheater. Habitual cheater. They're doing work on your finances. You're probably doing work on your, your health as well, too. Your mental, your mental state. They don't want you to get ahead at all. Could be dealing with the Virgo. I keep hearing, how does it feel? How does it feel when you alone in your cold inside? That's um uh Michael Jackson, Stranger in Moscow. That's the name of that song. So we have self doubt and bisexual. Somebody could be dissexual. Di Lord, dissexual? What the hell is dissexual? I don't know. And I don't even want to know if that's such a thing. I don't know. Ain't in my business. But somebody's definitely having some issues. Maybe it could be about being bisexual. Maybe coming out. They're not sure if this is something that they want to do. It was just a lot of candle work that's going on here. Somebody's very heartbroken over. Um, what's been taking place miscarriage here is not a a, a a baby miscarriage miscarriage is with the connection here. like it was going well it was doing good at the beginning and then out of all out the clear blue things just start to just go awry okay like this person has finally started to show their true intentions or their true colors yeah, somebody, I keep hearing vicious. Somebody is real vicious, like real, real career success. They don't want you to be successful at all. 
they don't want you to move forward. Like they really trying to, they really trying to cause some kind of a bodily harm to you. Like they want you to lose a lot of things, but that's just not going to fucking happen. Like it's just not, <laughs> but they in this stuck energy. Like they trying to move forward, but they can't move forward because they don't know why. Like, why can't I not move forward? It's because you under some can work, mental manipulation. Somebody's manipulating the fuck out your mind. That's just what it is. Yup, with memories, six of cups and the five of cups. Somebody is disappointed about the past or they could be re reminiscing about the past and becoming upset about what's going on from the past. So some things are starting to open up where they're able to see clearly. You have the um, ace of cups here. So it could be using their intuition or they could just feel very empty inside for what this person is doing to them. Somebody keeps going back to the past and reflecting as to why this happened in this way and they don't understand why they stuck somebody's like i don't understand why am i stuck why am i stuck they, they they just don't understand so they may come they may come towards you with a resolution with the five of wands in reverse okay they want to go on this new adventure with you they're in their head a lot with the nine of swords it could be um having lots of nightmares insomnia and things like that but they do see foresee a new opportunity Three of Wands with something new. Something or someone. <clears throat> Somebody cannot let go of you. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody in their head a lot. <sighs> I keep hearing freaks come out. So what's that? Who need freaks come out at night? The freaks come out at night. Hut, hut, hut. So I keep hearing freaks come out. Freaks come out at night. <laughs> Keep hearing. All right, clarify this three. Um, clarify this nine of swords for me. I never used to look at you in this way. So somebody is, like I said, somebody is in the past, harboring in the past, or going back to the past, having a lot of nightmares because they, they never, they never saw you in, in a. They only saw you from a very limited uh, perception, or they perceived you in a very limited way. Um, but now that things are starting to change, you're now starting to see this person for who they tr truly are. And there's definitely a lot of candle work here. Like I said, they're trying to keep you stuck, trying to keep you broke, not understanding why you're not able to move forward is because they're doing candle work for you. You don't know that though. <laughs> and I'm not laughing like that, but I feel like I keep hearing it takes two to tango. So I feel like both of you guys were doing something that you weren't supposed to do. It's like an even Steven, to be honest with you. Thank you for leaving me. Somebody left. Somebody left the situation. They left because this person was not of high honor. I really feel like somebody's trying to harm you or... They're either trying to harm you or they did harm you. But there's definitely some kind of a harm here, like a physical harm, to be honest with you. Nine plus one is ten. One is a, a portal manifest. Angel numbers. Somebody's been looking up angel numbers. There's a main male involved here. Somebody's going to jail or they could be in your head about this mess. Look, and that's also one too. Look. One plus nine is 10. If you break it down, it's one. And this is also one. So it's like a portal. Okay, so definitely a male that's involved here with your downfall. <sighs> wealthy man, they're not wealthy. They're broke. Child. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Could have been a marriage involved here somebody's in their their head a lot somebody's in despair could be in despair with the community or maybe asking for help for the community because they're in despair community could be family could be friends but you definitely got a friend here that's a fucking interloper that's telling all your business and um somebody's in poverty or may have a poverty mindset some of that body's definitely standing out and drawn out. Yeah, they're working hard to make sure that you don't move forward. It could be lovers. Yeah, they're working hard at this. That's crazy. So 
somebody feel like you are a gift to the world or they may be coming in with some money okay give you some kind of a gift it don't have to be money but they're trying to bribe me and bribe somebody try to bribe you with something could be a mature woman involved in this with this main male so it could be a mom and son duo shit i won't put past nobody shit Yeah, there's a lot of things that go on in the house that you're not privy to. It's like a house of horror is what I'm hearing. This is a house of horror. You got a Libra involved here. We have a Pisces involved here. We have a Sagittarius involved here. We have a Capricorn involved here. I heard one more. We have a Leo involved here all right so if that resonates with you in any way shape or form please feel free to like subscribe hit that notification bell until next time mwah, peace